let's go to what I love to do, juicing. I juice every week, especially celery and ginger. The main reason why I keep going on about celery is because it's really high in fiber and helps with digestion, which is something I've struggled with. It helps with a healthy weight if balanced with other right things and can help with your blood sugar. It's also very hydrating. And the main thing, the reason why I'm doing this lately is because celery contains phytonutrients, which reduces inflammation in both the digestive tracts, cells and organs. And it's also antibacterial antifungal and antimicrobial so with this it'll help you to regrow your cells and protect against nerve damage if you're not aware in fact i'll talk about this another time i have been going through a bit of a difficult time at home with health challenges and oh my god there's a lot going on but in due course i'll share so this is just what i was doing this day and i also had some beetroot because it helps to give you iron it helps with strength and there's other benefits like again your gut health and i find that once you are struggling with inflammation mm -hmm. or other health challenges beetroot is your friend um, and especially for blood and iron so yes and i can start my my day now hello guys welcome to another vlog I come today i've just woken up i'm still in bed in fact i have not left bed yet i'm off work at the moment it's the summer holidays with the kids i wanted to show you guys i talked about dry skin and it's really bad my skin is peeling i don't know how to handle this i want you guys to give me your advice on how to deal with dry scalp i have some stuff i've bought which i'll be using today when i open my hair up and wash it i've had this hair for a while so maybe that's why anyway i just thought i'll introduce this vlog how are you all doing i feel like i've not picked my camera up in a very long time since i got back from my travels it's been a week and a half and I've just been soaking it all in, being busy with the kids. We've had some health challenges, but we're back. And I thought I'll do a video today of a day in my life with the kids and just what we get up to. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the video. Bye. Bye. Dad, how do you feel? Much better. <laughs> You're not going to start seeing better yet, right? Soon. Well, I mean, it doesn't even seem as if I did anything. <laughs> okay. That's, that's how smooth it was. Yes, okay. Dad has just had his eye surgery and it's the second eye. Um, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated on the healing process and how long it takes. I got this magnetic um, phone mount. It's really good. Like most of us, we spend a lot of time driving and a lot of time on our phones, either like, either like a sat-nav. I actually have a sat-nav on my car, 
but I feel like my phone sometimes the settings are better so I got this and I don't regret it right what you got inside you've got different valves but with this I chose to use the magnetic bits which is that and the other piece goes into my the back of my phone really really simple mechanism bits there and that is how I just magnet my phone so I can leave my camera there I can put it higher up like that any phone will fit and that's it and it just goes there beautiful you can put it anywhere and it's just perfect perfection I'll say if you're looking for a phone mount I really love this I just thought I mentioned to you guys I don't think let me show you the other it's got this other vent which is for mine is a Mercedes but they have different ones but this is this can be used like this hook there is for the vent of the car and I find that that having the right um, oh, what is it phone holder is important so this goes to your air vent okay you get it? I'll put a link to this. This recipe I'm sharing, it looks very simple, but if you try it, you will never cook spinach in a different way again. It not only guarantees that you retain most of your nutrients, but it is so tasty and it's so easy to put together. I use leafy um, spinach frozen because I feel like when you buy vegetables and it's frozen, frozen fresh, you retain most of its nutrients and that's why I love this particular recipe you can give it a twist you can add whatever you want but the basic thing that you need is just loads of onions I use fresh tomatoes I just dice them I add some garlic and ginger a bit of um, seasoning you know salt you can add some crayfish whatever and you can use either palm oil you can use olive oil which is what I used or you can use sunflower oil or avocado oil and then you fry that in and we made salmon by the side to go with this because I really prefer not to add anything when cooking this so it cooks only for five to ten minutes and it's crunchy it retains all of its nutrients and honestly guys i'm not joking i can eat this vegetable every day and so does everybody you can go with fufu with gari with plantains with potatoes i had mine with sweet potatoes that i grilled in the air fryer with some fish and bam it was really really a hit in the house if you want the full recipe let me know but it's quite basic at this point i'm going to end this vlog Today, it's been a long one. I've not still done my hair yet. I've been cooking, as you've seen, as, you know, meals that will help you get better, get stronger, leaner, high protein. Mm. And this veg that I can eat every day. Literally, I can eat it every day. And I've eaten it for a week every day. Try the recipe, thank me later. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog today. Say bye-bye. I'll see you guys in my next one. If you enjoyed this, I don't know if it's a day in my life, I'm not sure, but I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and like.